In this video, we're going to look at circles and tangents. Now, a tangent is a line that just touches a circle just once. So, for instance, this is a tangent here because it just touches once. Well, this one, if I extend this line, would actually touch twice. Okay, similar, this is a tangent because it only just touches it. Well, this line here would touch twice if I expanded it. And when you have tangents, they hit radii, the plural for radius, they hit a radius at 90 degrees. So, for instance, that there is a right angle. So we can use that to work out what y is. So y is going to be 180 degrees, 180 degrees in triangle. Take away 90, take away 37. So my answer is going to be 53. So y is 53. So likewise, because we've got a uh, tangent here and a radius, they hit at right angles. So I have a right angle triangle. So I can now work out what z is using Pythagoras. Okay, so let's give myself a little bit more space here. So we're going to have here, we've got two short sides. So A, um, O is my long side. So square that. And it's A, B squared. That's this one here. That's B and A. And then add that to um, B, O squared. That's my radius. So sub in the numbers I know. So A, O I know is 13 squared. A, B is 12 squared, and B, O is what I want to work out, so that's my Z squared. Okay, so now I can move it quite a bit further up. Uh, 13 squared is 169, 12 squared is 144, plus Z squared. So I want to get Z squared on its own, so let's take away 144 from both sides. I'm going to get 25. Square root both sides is 5, so the answer is 5 centimetres. In this last example here, we have something that's called a tangent kite, where you have two tangent lines coming out of the same point, so in this case A, that touch the circle on both sides. So we get this kite here. It's a kite because it has all the properties of a kite. Now, we know from before that where a tangent meets a radius, we get right angles. So there's right angles there. And then we can start working out some of these other angles. Now, also here, we know... This triangle here, because it has all the lines here, is an equilateral triangle. So P, Q, and R are all 60 degrees. So if that's the case, I could work out this angle here, because this angle here is going to be 180 minus my right angle minus what P is. So 180 minus 90 minus 60 would make this angle 30 degrees. Now by the symmetry of this kite... It's symmetrical along the line, um, where is it here, OA, is that V also must be 30 down there. Okay, and then using symmetry again, S must be 60, and then so must T and U. So U, T, and S must also all be 60 degrees.